what, why, which, who, and the five steps to using a hero moose. Hello, hi, how are you? I'm Robin, welcome back, or welcome to my YouTube channel. This little world right here is man for himself. If you like hair product reviews, grooming, skincare, fragrance, and videos like this very one, then chances are, yes, you are going to love it around here. Please do press subscribe right now. Okay, episode five of my hair products guide series, really a deep dive into the world of hair products, helping you find the best product for you and ultimately really helping to save you money. I'll do all the testing. I'll tell you the products that are gonna work, honestly. Now, mousses, what are they? Generally, a mousse comes in a can. It might be called a mousse or it might be called a foam. It will be in a pressurized container which will shoot out a little mound of foam or mousse into your hand. Uh, now the why, why do you want to be using a mousse? Mousses are great for volume. Thickening products, sea salt sprays, are not gonna give you the kind of volume that a mousse is gonna give you. And um, this was a hairstyle I did with a mousse, which you are gonna see coming up. Now, who can use a mousse? Anyone can use a mousse. Uh, if you've got fine, high hair, um, if you've got sort of thinning hair, you can use a mousse. It's gonna help to provide body, it's gonna wrap the hair, and it's gonna give it this really great structure to then go on in style. If you've got coarse hair, if you've got thick hair, you can also use a mousse. And the five steps I'm gonna talk about are gonna help you do that. Also, curly-haired guys, hi, I salute you. Wavy-haired guys, and um, this sort of the way that you're going to activate it, you might use a diffuser on the hairdryer, but it's going to make the most of those curls. This is not about straightening those gorgeous curls out, it's about making the most of it. Which mousses to use? Now, there are so many mousses. I'm going to make a link down below. It's going to tell you some of the best mousses that I've used, give you the best prices. But on manfromself.com, I have a full section dedicated to mousses. And if you click the link, it's gonna give you it from low to high price. Some of my favorites, um, there's a VO5 one, it's called a foam. It's cheap, it's cheerful, it works. Maybe slightly more drying. Um, also, Bumble and Bumble had a great one, full form thickening mousse, it's discontinued. The soft foam mousse, not so great. Um, who else? The MacGyver one, MacGyver by Evo, is the product I'm gonna be using in this video. I absolutely love it. Big, voluminous hair, huge volume, and a mousse which I think is perfect. Evo as a brand is also great around about the 20 pound mark, something's cheaper, it will be on manfromself.com, um, around about the sort of $20 plus mark, but I think it's very much worth it for 200 mils. Okay, I'm gonna show you how I style with mousses, mousse eye, mousses, always five steps. And uh, the first thing I would say is, start with damp hair. Step one is to always shake this, because it's in a can, it's a pressurized container, so shaking it, it's gonna ensure that it all comes out as it should. If you don't shake it, then you're gonna get this. Shake, 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 shake. Second step is the amount. You want a small mound. You don't want a mountain, you want a mound. So something about that. It does grow, and if this is not enough, you can put more in. Start small, work up. Step three is distribution. Get this bad boy and get it into the hair, all through the hair, root to tip. Don't just focus on the bits you think you're gonna have the volume, you want it all throughout. If it's not fully distributed, you don't feel like your hair is fully coated, then you can get a little bit more. A mound, not a mountain. Step four is to activate it, and this is heat activated. So using a hairdryer, medium heat, fast speed, is gonna make that product work. It's really gonna get it, bring it alive, and it's gonna to start to plump the hair and add loads of volume. Now, it is at this point that you might think, oh God, what have I done to my hair? It's gonna feel a little bit sticky, a bit crispy. Keep going, you really wanna get the hair starting to be dry. Don't over dry it, but start to get the hair dry. If it does feel a bit tacky, keep going, you're not yet there. Or, you've messed up my first few steps and you put in too much, but keep trying. Also, while you're drying it, start to push the hair in the direction that you want it to go. For me, I'm gonna go with a classic 2014 slash 15 quiff. So I'm gonna be pushing it this way, but you can go anywhere you want. If you do have curly hair or it's slightly coarse, 
you might actually be kind of drying it more with the flat of your hand just to work with those curls, work with the movement and work with the waves. But for me and anyone else with fine flyaway hair or that just loves the volume, push up. It's huge. Right, whenever I'm using a hairdryer, whenever you're using a hairdryer, always finish on a cold blast of air. I've always said this, if you're still new to this, hey, come on, press subscribe. Cold blast of air is gonna close the cuticle, which is the outer surface of the hair. It's gonna make it stronger, it's gonna increase the shine, and it's gonna allow you to move on to the next step. Okay, right, step five is finish. You might, be very happy with how this looks, but this will, for me anyway, this will drop during the day. And um, if I put all this volume in, behold, then I'm gonna want that volume to stay. So finish for me is all about using a styling product. I would tend to use something quite light, something malleable, something that's gonna be able to help build that volume. So go a paste or a clay. Right, big, big volume. Also part of the finish and very much old school me. I'd always use a hairspray just because you've got the volume from the mousse, but mousses tend not to give you a great hold. Styling product might do, but a blast of hairspray is just gonna ensure it doesn't move. And that is that volume really that only a mousse could achieve. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this one. I am loving doing this hair product series guide. Um, it's just really sort of taking me back to where this all began and reminded me of some of the fantastic products that are out there. All these products are on manfromself.com. Also, if you've missed any of the series before, as I say, this is episode five. We've spoken sea salts, thickening sprays. At pre-styling, we've also gone into kind of like just the three steps of hairstyling. Next week, moving on to styling products, which is gonna be just so much going on. So I will link it in the cards. I think that's up there. Also, if you're still new to this, you've still not pressed subscribe, then hey, come on, please do press subscribe right now. The button is just there. There's also more video suggestions down there. Stay with me and watch them and head to the product pages there. And yes, more in the cards up there. But until my next new video, bye-bye.